I read F.A. Firenze negative reviews. That has absolutely not to believe that we watch the same thing. Extremely selfish and narcissistic. As an owner of an anime channel, I have a huge sin. I suck at reviewing anime. It, it's true, I suck at it. I only care whether it's fun or not, or whether I need to be alone to watch it. And you know what? I said enough of that, because today, I'm gonna learn how to review an anime from the greatest anime review source you can always 100% believe to be objective yes, and without yes. any more and without any other motives like looking for attention or something. My anime list. This is a stupid idea. Okay, so let's get into it. Oh my god, it's so long. I never anticipate this. Okay, uh, do you know Kinono Tabi, Majino Tabi, or any Tabi show? Oh. No, I don't. Yeah, this show has similar trope with I mentioned before since mostly story center based on what? Okay, look, my English isn't the best, I know. But please, come on, could you at least put an effort to this? We have ChatGPT, we have Google Translate, and putting it first into ChatGPT is barely an effort. Whatever. The story tried in telling about the meaning of life and immortality. Well, partially true. It feels more like the MC itself lectured by OP. What? And still her flat stoicism. <laughs> I don't know why I love that. <laughs> Not only that, Freeran's personality as a man is really soulless. I think the word that you're looking for is emotionless instead of soulless because next to that you mention stoicism. Let's continue. Due to she was living over centuries but still, there's no will, motivation, grudge, sympathy. Are we watching the same show? I refuse to believe that we watch the same thing. For example, for motivation, this is actually one of the points in episode 2. Freeran, as an elf and a strong mage, has very little sense of urgency about time. She can sleep for days without that much repercussion, which can be perceived as she has no motivation. But don't confuse the term motivation with fiery expression. It's different. In fact, you can still see little things that motivates Freeran outside of her journey to Aureola. Little magical trinkets, grimoires, even when conquering dungeons, for example. But again, she shows her motivation in a more controlled and a more calm manner. It's the same with how they show Firenze's grudge against the demons develops over time. A thing that you say doesn't exist. Firenze's grudge against the demons is that one thing that shapes her as a mage. And that's why I don't think me and you watch the same show. Okay, let's continue. This is the first comment. Oh my god. Not to mention, mostly character designs here, especially for Firenze, is designed as exciting as a rock. <laughs> And her boring pale expression will make you wonder if she is related to a statue though. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. <laughs> I think I know the real motive behind this review. Let's continue. In the end, so of and more likely as an exam of patience to enduring endless monotony. If you are in the mood for a relentless journey of dullness due to how bland she is, then it shall for you. Long. <laughs> Bro, this is such a bad review. You can feel the slow release of emotions throughout this. At first, it's still okay, but then the lull, the mention of that, it's the show for you if you're in the mood for boring stuff. Like, dude, chill! <laughs> it sounds more like a chaotic therapy session than a review, to be honest, but I think I know the reason you hate Freeran so much. I think you hate Freeran because Freeran is flat. In expression and other department, honestly can't argue with that, objectively correct, 10 out of 10. Okay, second review. No, I'm not reading this. I'm, oh, please, I'm not reading this. Okay, fine, I'm reading this. Please just give me an objective comment that I can learn. You don't need to know much about it to know why it's not worth your time, except that it's one of those explore and learn about human feelings law. The story is about a long-lived elf whose friends die on... I'm not reading this. Okay, next review. Holy guacamole. Uh, guys, do these guys get paid for this? Am I missing something here? Why is the review so long? Oh my god! Underwhelming. The fantasy setting is about as generic as it gets, nothing about it feels fresh or interesting, and as an emotional journey story, it feels like reading a young adult book and being delivered conclusions that aren't particularly complex or nuanced to you. Now, as a person that learned psychology and behavioral science formally, I completely disagree with you on this. There are a couple of reasons. First, the Fear and Circus gives you a conclusion, but it's often more open-ended than you might think, like in episode 11, for example, between Kaft and Fear and. You can say that, okay, it's about getting recognition for things you do. But you can also see it as how Kraft copes with his disappearing legacy, and how Freeran does it in a slightly different way. Or in episode 12, same thing, but of course, different conclusion. Probably I'm saying this because I'm a creator, but Freeran became far more interesting for me when I started asking questions. For example, like Haita, 
What does being a corrupt priest really mean actually? Is it only a joke? But they sometimes show it in a good light. So what's about that? One way to see it is that Haita, someone who was critical enough, he even questioned the existence of heavens, chose to be a priest and later a bishop. And they don't spoon feed you this. There are clues about it, but eventually you just need to think about it yourself. You have to ask questions. So Viren actually has lots of nuance. You know, I would guess that why they say no nuance is just because the nuance itself doesn't resonate with the reviewer that much, but it somehow became no nuance at all. Okay, so that's the first reason. Second, I don't get why you think it has to be complex for an adult to consider it to be good. I think it's more of a categorical choice, and I have proof. There's a research done by Pascal Wallish and co in 2017 about demographic differences in movie appraisal. The result, it's strikingly low. I mean, it's written in the paper that we conclude that age was not a factor in determining movie taste. That's why you can't represent adults. As an adult means nothing here, because adults like different things. But aside from taste, Viren will have more impact on if you're an adult though. You know, themes like losing a companion, not even through death for example by just you moving because of work or because of marriage. You're expecting a child for example so you don't have that much time anymore to hang out with your friends. The dwindling of your passion and how to keep going even without it like Viren and Ferran's case. That's your average worker stuff. And then Viren's humility as a long list species that still listens to Viren who is basically a child. Look, you will still understand about it as a teenager, but it hits differently when you're an adult. Like where in the hell I can find teenagers talking about living a legacy, about humility? Like it's an adult stuff. Because as we get older, we understand that, oh yeah, these things are getting more and more important to think about. Since adults, hopefully you also, if you're an adult, already achieve some degree of security in their life through work, financially and stuff. So adults can think more about things that related to happiness. And because of his work is suffering. Trust me, I know. Do I have a basis for talking about this? Absolutely. Hierarchy of needs, Abraham Maslow. And honestly, <laughs> personal experience. I actually don't really like the theory, hierarchy of needs, but come on, at least I have a basis. By the way, this series is kinda nice though. It's elaborate and mightily respectful. And although I don't agree with the points that you said, the review itself is pretty worthwhile to read, you know? So hey, there are maybe some worthwhile stuff to read here. Okay, next review. I take that back. Just hear this. My general impression watching it was that it felt dull and mildly irritating. To be honest, whether you enjoy something says more about yourself than it does enjoy enjoyment means satisfaction. Else. Satisfaction means the fulfillment of a desire. What is the desire that is fulfilled? Where are you going with this? And you know what? Because you wrote that, I am actually pretty curious about the anime that you actually enjoy. Let me take it. <laughs> <laughs> It explains everything we need to know. Hey, appreciate the honesty. <laughs> Next review. And this is when it gets surprising to me. I know that some people can stand Farron, but what I don't know is that some people just really hate Farron for some reason. And some of them try so hard to convince others that Farron, the character, is just objectively bad. And for some reason, they do it using a really terrible reasoning. For example, like this review. She seems to be aloof a lot of the time and then cheaper and then aloof again. No one can love her, but everybody loves Farron for no reason. Yeah, you can see that this review is really weird because if you're angry 100% of the time or well, you're cheaper 100% of the time, you know, it's either you're really good at acting and hiding your true feelings or you have a problem. And also about, you know, everybody loves fear and for no reason. And now it feels really dishonest because you literally skip the big part of character dynamics around fear and as a character. So why, right? Fear and Stark, Haita and Himmel like fear and can actually stand her annoying character. Well, it's simple, because behind that cold demeanor, Firen cares about them. She shows it through her actions, and those people are actually aware of it. It's such a basic thing about Firen. They talk about it in episode 3, and they still talk about it in episode 27. But for some reason, you just ignore it. And then also this. First of all, this character is an elf, and elves live a long time. She is very proud of this aspect of her existence, and she will bring up how old she is and brag about it every single chance that she gets. No, she doesn't. You're baiting. She is extremely selfish and narcissistic most of the time. Honestly, that's just you writing YouTube clickbait title. And those two are actually just an example because I found a couple more. But in terms of just pure hate and nonsensical review, I gotta give props to this guy. The review opens up like this. If you don't understand the complex characters that elves are, they don't write a story about an elf protagonist. And I kid you not, 
Bro was really mad that he actually created a half ass lore mentioning that humans are slaves to their emotions and how elves can remain objective no matter how cruel the situation is. Dude, that's just your opinion. And did you realize what you're doing? Not just you keep generalizing species, including humans that are actually more logical than you think, you also state that your overgeneralized half ass lore you get from your incel seller and powered reasoning as a better suited one for other people's story and accuse the other of the highest rated anime show in the world that they don't get elves. Where's your degree in developmental study of elves, huh? You have not. And also these arguments that it doesn't make sense that for some reason Firen can only make some meaningful character development after the anime starts. What? That's because you disregard the main plot of Firen. We have the trigger, the feeling of regret because of Himmel's death. And oh yeah, Haita is also dead. And now she has a child she has to take care of. That has absolutely nothing to do with why now Firen actually wanna do better and help people, right? Of course it does. But for some reason, you don't mention it. I don't know why. Well, I actually know why, because those things go against your review. Well, I mean, what to expect? It's a loosely moderated written review. Even one of the review moderators themselves said that the reviews can be dishonest, and some of the reviewers are actually chasing clout. Why am I not surprised reading this? But I gotta be honest here, if you can remove all the stains and know what you're looking for, some negative reviews are actually useful. For example, for some people, Firen might be really boring, and I can actually totally see it. Also, the repetitive jokes, I think it's a valid criticism, you know. And I also noticed that some people don't like the fine meaning or learning about humans slob. Well, that's also a choice that I can understand. I mean, if you like Rudolf Hiller, well, I also like him. But the point is, if you need more animated expressions, full-on fights episode by episode, or you really need the morally challenging stuff, then Viren is not for you. And the opposite, if you're like me, you like boring stuff, pretend and she show about positive values, oh no. Or you're just fed up with all the evil is cool and ooh, kindness is for fools and you'll get stabbed in the back in life. Damn it, the world is too, but like what? Bro, you watch too many edgy stuff. No wonder.